Well, folks, uh, here's Something what's in the box. In the box. There's so okay. So I'm going to be pretty much uh, just using tactile yeah. senses. Here we go. Not gonna look. Whoa, is that it? It's got to be it. Yeah. I'm not gonna look. It's kind of weighty, blocky. Uh, oop. I didn't mean to look. Here, let me get this thing. I don't want to break. I think you need to worry too much about that. <laughs> oh, this is a, a, a eight millimeter, six millimeter camera, isn't it? You twist. What was the print. first thing you said? And either an eight millimeter or, or a sixteen millimeter, probably Maybe. an eight millimeter. Yeah. Or a camera. Yeah. I mean, I, I don't yeah. Know. I've seen yeah. those on. Wow, that's uh, got. I, when I'm closing my eyes, these don't seem. That's pretty significant lens. Yeah. Does it twist? They rotate. Yep, right? they yeah. rotate. If you pull it up. Yeah. It's a Kodak Brownie. The Brownies. Millimeter camera. Wow. These were introduced '55, produced in '58, according to my research. Introduced in '55, and then continued manufacturing until when? Well, I'm not sure how long. I think on into the '60s, I, I would believe it was introduced. I, mean, I don't know what that means on the finder. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's kind of like obviously not a reflex. sights on a, on a rifle, of, point or some and shoot rifle. Yeah, <laughs> not <laughs> a indirect lens yeah, reflex a, viewing that's system. That's a monitor for you. Yeah, and this actually, I guess, and that flips up, and then you can really dial in. Yeah, I think it's a. Um, happen to have the little. Look, yeah, he's even got a manual for it. Can you still? I think you can still get eight millimeter and or eight millimeter film for these, isn't there? What company? No, that's in so funny. It's a thirteen millimeter. A thirteen millimeter. Twelve, twenty-four, and nine. Oh, the, the lenses. Yeah. What this was, which is, I, I, I find quite interesting. They actually shot uh, sixteen millimeter film. They shot sixteen. Yeah. Okay, and so when you. You know, when it runs out, in fact, you can, there's, there's actually a roll of film on there. There is. Let's, if I can mess this up, I don't guess it would really matter. There you have it, 16 millimeter film. And what you would do is once you finish shooting, you'd flip it around send it off to the lab right and they cut it in half and flip one side the other way and splice it back together <laughs> and so yeah. was there was was there ever then, a true eight millimeter film made no, there wasn't it i didn't was. i did not know that it was all i didn't know that either millimeter film oh. and uh, basically you just flip the film and send it to the lab and they would cut it and uh, splice it back together no, so what's on this roll, or nothing now? I doubt it. <laughs> not anymore. <laughs> wow, so this is yours? You've had this for a well, while? Well, actually, it was a friend. He was cleaning out his... Uh... Amazing. Oh, no, this is going to really fuck with me now, I guess. All right, there, there we go. go. Yeah. Uh, and, uh, was, you know, they don't make even Super 8 film anymore. Let's see if we can actually... No, it's like 35 millimeter. You can't get it. You can. Uh, you can get it, but yeah, you can't get it processed. You, there are several it's filmmakers that it. still shoot in 35, very, five or six guys that still shoot in 35 millimeter. But for film know, use, for, yes, for motion right. feature. feature film. Yeah. Um, but um, and I'm not sure if uh, that guy Christopher Nolan. I'm. I don't know if you guys saw Dunkirk at the Cliff Tech. I've not seen it yet. Yeah. Man, that's that's a piece of cinema. Is that on 35 millimeter? I think it might be 65 or IMAX or something right. like that. But I think he still shoots on that on film stock. Scorsese used to still shoot on film stock, but by and large, it's a digital world now. Wow. And, and Super 8 was its own. They did 
create Super 8. Super 8. And, and that was its own film stock. What The only difference was? Sprockets were smaller. Right. So it gave a little bit more frame size. Right, right. You know? And, uh, but this really shoots 60 millimeter film, which is kind of interesting. And, uh, if you just. Amazing. Yeah, those twists. That's how you, uh, that's how you zoom. <laughs> There's no zoom. Oh, yeah. That's, I thought that's the flipping you... was the zoom. No, I mean, these are all fixed lenses. Yeah. So, like a, you know, tighter lens, you know, mid range, and then a wide angle. Amazing. And again, you're not really, because it's not reflex viewing. Yeah. You're just you're getting kinda, in it. You're guessing. You're, it's an approximation. Did so. you ever shoot a work with the Aeroflex, the old Aeroflex 16 no, millimeters? No, no. That was like a standard, even up into the 80s. Uh, like the, some of the first uh, Stephen J. Cannell was shooting on 16 millimeters. Oh, I'd think so, yeah. On uh, first A-teams and I things like that. So. You could see hmm. the quality improve as it got popular, the budget, they would afford better. <laughs> yeah. And then obviously 35 is right. better film stock than yeah. uh, 16. Yeah. Fascinating. Although, what I do find, if you look at something like a Super Bowl from the 70s that you know, sh you know was shot on film, basically. Yeah, you know, I mean, oh, television, yeah. but if it's bought, you know, if it's... Um, you know, documentary footage or whatever from uh, the 70s, whatever. That stuff now has a shelf life of nothing. And it, it just, the colors are all bleached out. It might as well have been shot at the turn of the century. And then if older film socks really maintained their um, chemical balance. Their integrity. They, they, the they, older, they older film socks. Older film from socks. From the 30s not, and 40s and things like did that. Did not... <laughs> Uh, degenerate quite like the film in the 70s and the 80s. Interesting. Yeah. I wonder why that is. Just I think it just has to do with they, they, they didn't, uh, you know, do. Uh, I think it's a chemical thing. It just has to do with. In the processing of what is actually the cellular. Or actually was made out. whatever, you know, because it's basically silver that's on the. Oh, yeah, the right. Uh, the, it reacts to light. As best I can remember from my film school days, which now is <laughs> a couple of years ago. Could take a correspondence course, I guess, and pick up Good. on that. But I think it had to do with the chemical composition on the film side. Silver nitrate or something like that? And they may, they may have, uh, I think it was actually silver. Just, yeah, pure silver. Silver compounds yeah. that would react to light. Wow. And they probably just fudged it a bit. And yeah, they probably light. did. My, my, my. Well, this is great. Thank you. That's, that was, that's a blast from the past. I, I'm always intrigued. Now these are just, I see them in. Oh, uh, you're on eBay. I don't, you know. I, I see them just, on people's mantles. It's like, oh, and they don't Well, that's know why my friend it. gave it to me. Yeah. You know, it was like, you know, put it up for a piece of art.